much more evidence. We have had physical evidence. We have testimonies from relevant authorities. How much more evidence do you want to know that the ruling party, like that, the APC, is the sponsor of insecurity and terrorism? How much more evidence? I don't need any more evidence. I am 1,000% convinced. And nobody has contrary evidence. The APC, the ruling party in Nigeria, is the direct sponsor. The Niger State House of Assembly has raised an alarm over the occupation of Nigerian largest military training camp in Katangoro local government area by bandits. The lawmaker said that the bandit activities have displaced 23 communities around the military containment in the Katangoro local government headquarters. According to the lawmakers, it's the largest military training camp in Nigeria, where personnel of the Nigerian Army artillery comes under go training. The assembly said that Bandit had taken over the training camp and urged the state government to immediately liaise with the military authority to flush them out. The matter was brought to the attention of the lawmakers through a motion of urgent public importance moved by the member representing Katanguru 11 constituency Abdullahi during a plenary on Tuesday. Mr. Abdullahi said the non state actors now occupy the military camp, which occupied the, a large space of land extending from Katanguru local council to part of Mariga local council. The local the lawmaker informed his colleague that since the bandit took over the training camp, 23 farming community had relocated due to frequent attack by the gunmen. This military camp is now known to have been taken over by bandits, who are said to have established at least eight different camps in the area. The presence of the bandits on this training camp, which now serve as their safe haven, has posed a serious security threat to the community within the camp, both in category and Mariga local camps. Let's not forget that the, the chief of army staff, who was allegedly you know, reported to be, uh, to have uh, passed away somewhere in the Europe, you know, the news broke also yesterday that Nigeria now has a new chief of army staff. With all of this drama, the problem, like I always say, is that why is it that this APC administration, they are not being truthful to Nigerians? If something happened as a public servant, the information to be made known to the public, there is no need of, you know, all those hide and seek games that they are playing. We all believe and know that the chief of army staff is not truly sound and he is somewhere receiving treatment. In the first place, why didn't you make it public until there was an allegation? Now, this particular camp that we are talking about here is uh, the particular place that the Nigerian military actually closed down sometime early this year or last year, if, I, if America can serve me correctly. So the Nigerian military are no longer using that particular base. Yeah, they have closed down the place after an ambush by those said bandits. Just a day before yesterday, we saw the Minister of Power complaining to the Senate that bandits has been warning their workers while they were trying to connect the light to the seven states in the northern region. Bandits are also threatening the contractors that we sent to fix it. Which is why we sought help of the NSA and the other security agencies. So, and then they have to contact the NSA in order to be able to, you know, guide the workers to return the light to the seven northern states. Can you imagine? This can never happen in any state in the world, in any nation of the world, where there is proper governance. So now, bandits are warning their workers. And then I will bring police or soldier. And then they have to walk now. Now we will learn that light have returned back. Are you serious? Anyway, where are we heading to as a nation? I leave this take for you at the comment section. Let's be civil. But this is what is actually happening in Nigeria as of today. Thank you for watching.